This guy left a message, he said, hey brother, are you able to do a video about having feelings for two different women? I kind of feel sad about having to drop one of them, LOL. Well, here's the thing, guy. It's not a matter of you necessarily dropping one of them. It's more a matter of, it's good to be in the driver's seat. It's good when you are the person that has women coming to you. Because if they're chasing you, they can't be replacing you. But you could be a guy that ends up dating like two or three different women, and they all have their feelings for you, all right? So a couple things are going to happen. One, either one or both of these women are going to come to you and be like, hey, so are you dating other people? Hey, so what are we? So what is this? Blah, 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 right? And so if only one of them comes to you and does that, and that's the one that you figure of the two of them you want to try something with, then you can do that. If they both come to you, you have a few options. One is you could pick one and dump the other one. The other thing you could do is you could be honest and say, hey, look, real talk, I'm enjoying this interaction so far. Right now, I'm still in the process of dating other people, and I'm still trying to decide ultimately who I want to be with long term. So for right now, I'll keep this in mind. But, you know, I, I, I don't want to lie to you and say that I'm not seeing other people. I don't want to lie and say, like, I'm completely decided yet. I'm still trying to make a decision. So if you're not cool with that, I completely understand. I have found more often than not during the dating process, women are, they don't have to like it, but they're typically fine with that. Like they're typically fine with, you're still trying to make a decision between these two, with, between other people. She just more, A, women like it when they know that other women want you. And also that puts them in competition more like, oh, so now I got to do more things to try to prove to this guy that he needs to pick me. And again, that's a great place to be. So if you're liking both women equally, then it really is a matter of like either A, you choose one that you already know you have more feelings for, or B, you decide to keep dating them until one of them proves to you more so why they should be your girlfriend over the other. There's no rush to this process. Like I tell you guys, it takes women two to three months on average to solidify their feelings, at which point they're typically ready for a relationship. That does not mean at the point that that month comes that you have to fully decide on either of these women. I'm just telling you what their average timeline is. Now, if you need a bit longer to date these two women, or if you're just like, hey, real talk, I don't want to be tied down. I want to be able to date multiple women. Again, that is your right to do that. Just be upfront with that if that is your agenda. Because, hey, a woman is trying to get married, she knows she's on, 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 on borrowed time, right? And so if you're like saying, hey, I'm not ready to be super serious with you yet, then she may decide, you know what? Thank you for telling me. I, I don't want to be in that kind of situation, so I'm out. And she has that right because, again, if she's like, especially in her 20s, she needs to get married to get kids while she's still got a good womb down there. And so it's not fair at that point to try to drag her along. But if you tell her the honest truth and she agrees to stay, then that's on them, not on you. So in the other comedy left, uh, this guy left a comedy said, what if I ask for a date with a specific day and time? And she replies with, let me check my schedule. I didn't reply to that message. So do I just wait for her to get back to me? I have found more often than not that when a woman says, let me check my schedule, it's a no. Rare. There's been a couple of times where they got back and said, hey, so I thought about this and that, right? But also... This is why when I'm asking women out, I'm trying to get all the intel then, whether it ends up being a rejection or not. So let's say this is me. I ask her out. She says, hey, let me check my schedule. Then I would say, okay, that sounds great. I know right now I'm free on Tuesday or Thursday. Let me know if either of those work for you. Like I'm going to take back the leadership role of, well, you say you're busy, but I have a schedule also. And so it's we're not going to just completely go with your time because I'm also a busy guy. So I'm going to put out there some dates that some days that work and you tell me if any of those days work more often than not, they'll be able to say, okay, either Tuesday or Thursday works, whatever. Or they'll say, well, neither of those work. I'll get back to you. At that point, that is showing me that as a woman that is not super serious about dating me. And as much as I don't like to hear that, I know I'm out. You save me time. I'm going to go elsewhere. Now I don't have to say all that to her. I just say, okay, great. Well, let me know. Let me know. Uh, when you're available. And then I go on to find somebody else because I don't like the idea of women putting you on the waiting list or leaving like leaving you out open to like not know. I call that the land of maybe. I don't like the land of maybe. Women saying, let me check my schedule. That is a maybe date. And there are too many women out there that would just give you a day and time that works. Even busy women. Busy women, I know it's, it's going to be shocked to hear this. Busy women typically know their schedule. 
Like a woman that's busy isn't trying to be late to appointments. So she has stuff in her Google calendar, her phone calendar. I have a calendar and I'm not even all that busy, but I have a calendar on my kitchen wall. Some of you have seen it in previous videos. I write down everything I'm doing for the week and for the month in that calendar. I can look at my calendar now and say, I know tonight I'm going to be filming a thing, which is why I'm doing a podcast now. But that's my point. I like this show enough to where even if I'm busy at the time I normally do it, I say, that's no reason to not do a show. I'm going to find a time to do the show. And women are the same way. Oh, he wants to date at eight o'clock, but I have a meeting at eight o'clock, but I could do a, an early lunch or I could see if I'm free the next day to schedule in for like five a five o'clock dinner. Like women that like you, help you, and will do that. Women that don't will say things like, let me check my schedule. Well, I don't know. I got to see what else is going on, which is still not great because her being like, I got to see if I have other things going on is translation for you're not nearly as important as other things. So I hope to God I'm doing something else so I can say no to you. That's not a way the person you want to date. So I would say, just leave it at like, okay, great. Well, let me know when you're free and then try to find somebody else. If she comes back and says, okay, I'm free such such a day. Great. Plan the date and then go. But more often than not, that's not what's going to happen. So hopefully it helps you out. Let's see here. And then lastly, oh, I kind of wanted to do a whole show about this, but I'm not going to, but 